Hi everyone! Uh, so we've had the Dremel laser cutter for a chunk of months now, and I've been laser cutting a bunch of fun stuff, so I thought it would be nice to, to show you what I've been making and to talk a little bit more about my process with using the laser cutter. Uh, first off, what's really nice about laser cutters is that there are a lot of files online to help you get started, and there's a lot of stuff that can help you kind of shortcut the design process. So one of the first things I made was this switch box for my daughter. She really likes uh, playing with switches right now. So this is 6 by 6 switch box, so 36 total uh, switches for her to play with. And this is a laser cut box for it. And the there's actual box generators online, so you don't have to hand draw all of these little notches, and that saves a ton of time. Um, I've glued the whole bottom part together, but I've left the top undone so that I can get to those switches if I want to for some reason. Um, but then all I had to do was decide the size of the box and put the holes in for the right size for my switches, and I have a whole new toy for my daughter. What I've mostly been focusing on with my laser cutter is designing jewelry, and mostly space-themed jewelry right now. I don't know, I just started drawing stuff. Um, my process for this is really drawing in my uh, notebook just kind of some ideas of what I might want to make and you can see that just really rough sketches that then turn into slightly more detailed sketches and schematics uh, especially for the more complicated stacked pieces. So once I have that drawn I bring it into a uh, software called Illustrator. It's an Adobe product and then I just drop the files uh, for the laser cutter. I'll have a separate video of showing that whole process and also sharing some templates and stuff. So what I've made so far that I really enjoy is this uh, rocket pendant and this is, all of this is out of birch plywood. This is uh, 16th inch so it's really thin and light which is nice. And then I've used that same design to create a three-dimensional version, which is a rocket locket. So now we have a little astronaut floating in space, and the front of the rocket closes. And then you can see it's actually three layers of plywood. So I have the front, I have this middle piece so it has some depth, and I've got the back. So I'm still working on the hinge mechanism for that, but I, I think that's really fun. Then based on that idea, I did a Jupiter version, so when you swing that open, you have a little astronaut floating around Jupiter, which is kind of fun. And I uh, also made just some standalone Jupiter pendants. You can see with these uh, four laser cuts uh, how I'm experimenting with the different laser settings. So that's what's interesting about working with Dremel is that um, I don't have as much experience with how their settings are done. So I used these files to help me think through what colors I wanted and how, it, how much contrast I wanted between the different uh, layers. And to help me do that, I created this um, sample swatch. So this is a laser engraving sample swatch. It allows me to see at different heat percentages and speeds what the color of the wood is going to be. That's one of the files that I created and I've shared uh, online. Uh, I've created a GitHub repository that has a lot of these template files and the test watch so that I can share this learning experience and so other people can use it to get kickstarted uh, with their Dremel machines or really any laser cutter. You can use those files as well because it's Illustrator. Uh, and we'll have that link below so that you can uh, get to those files yourself if you're looking at Dremel. Uh, let's see, what else have I made? I made, uh, what's nice about drawing things in Illustrator is that I can use those same files for different things. So I did a, a space, I did the uh, shuttle, I also did another rocket as earrings, I've got astronauts as earrings, so now I can kind of have some fun with those same files and see how to use them in different sizes. What I'm the most excited about is combining uh, my skills with laser cutting with my electronic skills as well. So this was, um, you saw in that sketch earlier, a firefly pendant. And this actually turns on, and this was my first prototype for it. 
Um, it is two layers of wood and then I built a custom circuit on the back. So it has a battery, it's got resistors for the LEDs and a little switch. And just all hot glued in place. So based on that I actually made a second version which is much more reasonable size. And I got um, a battery board from Adafruit which is an electronic supplier. And it looks much nicer, uh, a smaller size, and that's more of what I'm excited to get into next is uh, combining skills in different ways in order to make really unique jewelry and art uh, with the laser cutter and electronics. So I actually have my own YouTube channel now called Catherine Makes, and I'll be sharing a lot of videos about the laser cutter, about the files, uh, about the process and workflow. So if you're really interested in laser cutters, come over to that channel and subscribe, and then we'll just keep laser cutting stuff together. Thanks.